All right, let's see how this goes. Very cool. We are live, Mark. All right, coffee talk. I'm and and David is hosting today, but I'm still drinking my coffee. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Good to see you. As usual, you've gotten tired of seeing my face, and the one reason you got into this program because he was so friendly on a podcast. He was so lovable on a YouTube channel. The one, the only, Mark Podolsky. Welcome back, Mark. I'm back, baby. I'm back, refreshed, re-energized. I'm I'm ready oh, wow. to uh, to tackle the second half of the year with a vengeance. We got Have lots of ever... good stuff in the uh, in the pipeline. I love it. Have you ever taken a vacation that long? Um, no, no. I mean, wow. I, I remember I took six months off, like after college. I had uh, I got like a job, and I saved a bunch mm -hmm. of money uh, for six months living at home. And then I took off for six months to Australia with a buddy. But after after that, I've never taken you know that much time off. Just from wow. you know, even yeah, and it, it's it's weird. Like yeah, after a while, like you need to be productive. Like I couldn't wait to get back. <laughs> so if you don't know who we are, Mark Podolsky, he is my mentor. He, he taught me how to flip land. Um, you wouldn't even think flipping land is a thing, but we do it uh, every day, and we buy raw land from out of state owners who likely owe back taxes, turn around, sell it on owner financing. And that's how we generate our passive income. About 25% of cash deals, and I don't shy away from those. But this is our business model. We flip raw land. Interesting, right? So if you want to learn more, go to thelandgeek.com and mark. So flipping land, right? So you've been doing this since 2001. Right. And now you've just taken a one-month vacation. Did you feel like you could have done that any earlier? Oh, absolutely. Um, I was just scared. Like, my treadmill just turned off. Um, <laughs> you know, like, I, I know I could have done it, um, but this is really interesting to see where the systems would, would break down without me. Like, how, how, how tight were the systems? And unfortunately... Uh, for me, the systems are so tight. I'm not needed at all. Like, <laughs> like, you know, the only thing that we really took away that, that last three days was the weekly, uh, meetings. That was it. So, yeah. you know, everything else that Mark does, you know, the only thing I, I, you know, I, I stepped away from some, you know, the, the round table and the, and podcasts and client calls and just meetings. But other than that, like the day to day running of the business is so tight and so systematized and so automated that nothing broke. And, you know, there was one or two things that I had to kind of do financially that, mm -hmm. you know, I had to do, which took about two to three seconds, maybe yeah. a day. But other than that, like it's, it, it was so smooth that it was very humbling. Like business doesn't need me. Business went up. Deals closed. <laughs> you know, you get away more often. You make more money. <laughs> I, that's what I'm thinking. Like, like, all right, it's, it's time to like, you know, start another business or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, has heard it in a podcast. I mean, it's like, this is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but to get there, Mark, it's a long journey. So it took you over a decade, but then you turn around yeah. turn that in, in education. So it takes most of us about 18 months, maybe a little bit longer. That's okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's interesting. It depends on what your metric is for success, right? Yeah. So for some people, they're like, you know what? I'd be really happy if I had my passive income paying for my mortgage every month. Right. For other people, they'd be really happy if their passive income paid for their mortgage and family trip every totally. you know, every quarter, let's say. Right. For some people, it would be uh, I want it to replace my income so I can quit my job. That was, you know, you, Scott Todd, uh, the Rickmans, a lot of people, uh, Chris Pritchard, um, you know, were able to do that, uh, 
you know, in 18 months, let's say. Uh, for me, it was that was my goal, right? That was my metric was, can the land investing business exceed my investment banking income? And it took me 18 months to do that. So, you know, it just depends. Like, what's, what's your metric? Um, it's, Absolutely. It's, a, it's a great side hustle. Danielle Daiva. Good yeah, morning. Danielle, good to see you. Isn't it weird to see Mark back on here, Danielle? Like, I'm still kind of not used to it. <laughs> but I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's nice not to be the uh, the, the main person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's hard, right? It's hard to just kind of like talk into a camera. So for the two uh, first two weeks, um, I didn't have a guest, so I did it on my own. And, you know, that was okay. Like, I can talk about this model for over half an hour and not need any feedback. <laughs> but sometimes you just like it being a conversation. So, look, we got 12 viewers right now. Just, you know, put a comment. Let us know you're watching. Um, say good morning. Welcome, Mark, back. Yeah, let's, um, let's and we're taking any questions. Questions, yeah, yeah. Sure. I know, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, I, I, can't, I can't. I can't wait to catch up. Um, <laughs> it, it's crazy. Like we got boot camp coming up in. Oh my goodness! Nine days in uh, Scottsdale, and Orlando is just about filled up. If you haven't, you know, sign up for Orlando boot camp yet. Go to landgeek dot com. Forward slash boot camp. Daniel, do we do we still have room in that room? That room's great, uh, but it's small. So I hope we have room because I just uh someone signed up for flight school this morning. So they're looking to go to Orlando. Oh wow. Yeah. So and also August if, flight school is gonna fill up very fast. So uh <laughs> you know, I hate to sound like you gotta do this, but you know, you gotta do it. All right, yeah. barely, but yes. We do have a lot of urgency built into this business because there's never been a better time to do this business. It's getting easier and easier, which will mean a few more people will come into this business. There will never be competition, I don't believe, but there's no time like the now. Uh, you know, really, don't, yeah, don't hesitate really, on really this. Really, now is the time. And, I, and I'll tell you, uh, you know, if you're, if you're not a, you know, a big economics person, and you don't like to study economic trends. I'm kind of economically geeky in that sense. And <laughs> we are at the end of our 10 year cycle, right? So real estate works on a 10 year cycle. Um, we are very much due uh, within the next, let's say 12 to 18 months for a recession. Now, is it gonna be like 2008? No, but we will hit a dip. And yeah. now is the time, you know, be that pig that's building their house full of bricks. Right. Be prepared now because the deals are going to be really, really good in the next 12 to 18 months. Right. So right now, I mean, you know, land investing, our our cycle is a little slower. Right. So we're the last to get hit when real estate takes yeah. that dip, but we're also the last to recover. So, you know, we probably have a little bit more runway, but now is the time to really start cranking up the business. And then be ready when the deals just get better. And what's awesome about our model is that, you know, we have no competition, right? We don't have exactly. hedge funds. We don't have private equity groups. There's no big money doing this. Uh, we don't have huge swings in it, right? Um, you know, from, a, from an economic perspective, very few people are going to fall out based on their $250 a month note payment to you, right? Yeah. I mean... You know, they some people will fall out, but it, it's not going to be, um, you know, a huge problem. And you know, even in two thousand eight, I was very profitable. Two thousand nine, I was profitable. Two thousand ten, I was profitable. But two thousand ten, my 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 personal income took a big dip, and you know, I had to lower my over, my personal overhead. Now the business was still profitable, but yeah. if I was preparing. You say in 2006, 2007, uh, I could have, you know, sustained that a little bit better. So I'd never gone through a cycle before, and now I'm really super vigilant about it. Hey, is exactly. Montero so, John just on? What's up, Montero John? Yeah. Bryce. Bryce is here. Yeah, John from Hawaii. Oh, nice. I an $80,000 deal today. I love it. Got to love yeah, this business. Mm -hmm. You know, every time you go on from, vacation from Hawaii, by the way, that's the other things you can do this from anywhere. Totally, I, you know, like I'm getting away from even needing paper at this point. 
Um, we got to talk to Judd Not Pro because I don't need paper. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny. I just closed uh, that big deal in Nevada, and I um, heard. And so, you know, we went through title. We got the we got our title insurance, but like the actual deed itself, Turbo Scan, like just I don't need paper anymore. It's, it's perfect. Pictures. I don't need a fit. Like you said, like these big physical things, and you know, <laughs> all the paperwork and the cabinets. Like now, tick, 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 I know. Seconds. I love this. Yeah. Yeah. So like we've got a few people that do the van life and do this business. So, I mean, if it's freedom people are after, man, like you can actually have a side hustle like this and be traveling. I mean, Sean Rickman just got back from Hawaii. Um, you just did some traveling. John Montero is working from Hawaii. <laughs> I'm going to set up an office in Hawaii. Mark. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's it it really uh you're only limited, you know, basically by your imagination. Cuz once you get these basic things in place, you know, you get your virtual mailbox in place, you get your systems in place with say LG Pass where, you know, we've got our 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 mailings automated, right? We just upload a list. That's it. Oh yeah. And then the whole system's automated, we're 90% automated with software. And then we got GeekPay on the back end with a set and forget it no collection system. It oh, it doesn't man. you can just all you need is an inexpensive computer. That's it. This business is beautiful. I mean, I talk to people uh, almost on a daily basis, and if someone wants to talk to me or Mike Zeno, you know, we are the people who can. Like my whole goal on a call is to see where you are, see why you're interested in this now, and give you options, and and that's it. And most of the time, these people just realize like. Yeah, this business actually works. It's not some kind of weird, you know, why is Mark doing the education now? But no, he has his own land business and it's very profitable. Um, we just, we love what we do as far as the education aspect of this. Yeah, and, I mean, that, know, that's, that's what's so what horrible do. about real estate education is like, there's so many guys out there. They're like, oh, I'm teaching this stuff, but they're not doing it themselves, right? So they're right. talking about things they did in 2005 and 2006. And then... Oh, I'll teach you how to do it, but like the market's different now. So it's you know totally. I, I, I sleep well at night <laughs> doing deals. <laughs> <laughs> I could be a little bit ahead of my students. Yeah, and then we also have the, the you know happy customers guaranteed. So if you had watched the uh, the coffee talk, I think it was what six weeks ago, right? If someone demanded their money back. They sold some weird property. I talked to Mark right after the coffee talk. I was like, did that phase you at all? He's like, doesn't bother me one bit. <laughs> no. I got to get used to that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah. So Hansel says, uh, yeah, that's what amazed me. I was driving home, Uber driver, and the whole way I was open. So I talked to Uber drivers about this business on a daily basis, Mark. So my truck was stolen, and I opted not to buy another vehicle. I talk to Uber drivers daily about this because you're already doing a side hustle. You know what it is to be entrepreneurial. You don't want to work for someone else. This is perfect. Yeah, and, and you know, and, you know, no offense to Uber drivers, but they're totally discounting their time, right? Because what they've done is they've exchanged their time for money, right? Mm -hmm. And they have so little economic dependency. So if they're not driving, they're not making any money. Absolutely. And so as a side hustle, you really want something that creates passive income. So Hansel Hodge is working on his business, but not in his business, right? Uh, Richard Schultz at Starbucks is not in Starbucks whipping up your Frappuccinos. And you shouldn't be the one, you know, doing everything yourself. That's not being an entrepreneur. That's being a freelancer. And we see this all the time. Dentists, right? Mm -hmm. What are they doing? They're so economic dependent. If their hands aren't in somebody's mouth, they're not generating income, right? Absolutely. So their only passive income piece in that business is the hygienist, right? Man. Or if they get an associate. But other than that, most of them don't think like that. And they think, oh, I got to build my practice, build my practice. And next thing you know, they've burnt themselves out. Uh, you know, we used to Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, the, the, three, the three Ds in dentistry were... Uh, you know, first they get divorced. Uh -huh. then, oh no! Then, yeah, then they would get depressed, and then they would, you know, 
died. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> there's, there's a reason they have the highest, you know. Boy, and on top of that, no one likes them. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the other thing. Is like, you know, if you, every day, you know, people are like, oh, no offense, but I really don't want to see you today. <laughs> I mean, that gets old, gonna, too. That's got to do something to the psyche. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, what's funny is we get a lot of uh, doctors in this business as well because they know I've got still economic dependency, right? High Absolutely. income doesn't rec- doesn't translate to wealth, right? Yeah. Um, there's a big difference between you know net worth and pr- income, and so this business grows your income, but it also grows your net worth. Yeah. So totally. if you've got thirty thousand dollars a month coming in passive income, that's the equivalent of ten million dollars in the bank at four percent, right? Yeah, you've done the math. This is yeah, it. yeah. Joe Chop still yet to get the Joe. mailers out. What's going on, Joe? Is Joe in flight school? No, no, Joe's not in flight school. Uh, if he was in flight school, Scott Todd would have beat him over the head with a bat. We'd all beat him over the head with a bat. Joe, get <laughs> in flight school. What are you doing, man? Execute. Yes. If you can't execute on your own by yourself, we'll make you execute in real time with your class. Yeah. On, hey, man. Joe, Joe, schedule a call with me. We got to figure out what's going on. We got We have options. But we, we want to keep you moving forward. Uh, just schedule a call with me, man. Let's figure out what's going on. We don't want you uh, having a sad face on a Wednesday morning. Uh, yeah. We only want happy faces, okay? So next week, so schedule a call with me for tomorrow. And then we'll prob- uh, you know, problem solve this, troubleshoot it. It might be flight school. It might not. We'll talk about that. Um, there are some other packages available. And next week, I want a smiley face. I got mailers out. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's always interesting, like how the the mindset is. Look, I, I want to suffer. I want to do this on my own. I want to get a deal done. You know, I don't need anybody's help. I got the toolkit. I'm going to do it on my on my own. It's like, okay, would you climb Mount Everest by yourself? Like, <laughs> would you get a Sherpa to take you up? Right? Yeah. They'll take you up safely. They'll guide you through. You know, these are the parts to avoid. These are the parts that, you know, we're going to get up there faster. Yeah, it's still going to be yeah. hard, but you're going to get up there and you're going to survive and you'll climb Mount Everest, right? Absolutely. So Absolutely. let us be your Tenzig Norank, right? <laughs> let us be your yeah. Land of Sherpa. We've um, been there before. Matt, excellent. See, Matt's in flight school. Yeah. And it keeps the bat away, which is good. Yeah. So the research and mailers is the hard part. I get it. I, we totally get it. Um, but that's yeah. when flat school becomes the most intense uh, because these are mental blocks that are keeping you from going forward. It's not the outside sources. It's not the research. It's it's a mental block. And so you got to bust through that. i got to push through that. We've right. all been there. You know, I've been there. I have, I have blocks every single day, but I have to overcome them. And now that's what it comes down to is, you know, are you going to do this business anyway? And, you know, Joe, look, I've seen you around the community. I'm glad you're still moving forward. Um, but, yeah, there are a lot of block walls in this business. You know, the first one is 3,007 counties, Mark. Does your model work in all 3,007 counties? No, no. If you want to start buying infill lots in Manhattan, they, <laughs> this, ain't, this ain't the model. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you, want, you want to start buying, you know, infill lots in San Francisco? This is not the model. Yeah, absolutely. Like, there's 3,007 counties. Like, we're, we're, we're buying assets for pennies on the dollar and selling them. I, I suppose you could do that anywhere, but for the velocity of deals that we do, there's a few states that this works in, maybe like seven, eight states. And, you know, I, I just talked to someone from North Dakota this morning. I just, I, every time I talk to someone from the North, Northeast, I always say, look, you're going to be tempted to work this business near you. Please consider, you know, working New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, Texas, those states where there's right. you know, more sun than they know what to do with. Yeah, I mean, I mean no, nobody wakes up thinking to themselves, boy, I'd really love to buy some raw land in, in Minnesota, <laughs> unless you live in Minnesota. So have exactly. as big fire pool as possible. So you live in Phoenix. It's like 140 out there. Um. Do you notice any like uh, like cyclical flows of you know sales in hot states during summer or cold states during winter? I don't notice that too much. Um, you know, it's interesting. I you know I track the really key metrics in my business, but mm-hmm. I don't I don't 
you know, go so, so deep in the analytics that I'm just making myself crazy. And I think that's one of those analytics that I think, um, you know, isn't that helpful for our business because if I buy any asset 23 cents on the dollar, yeah, uh, it's going to sell. Now, will a Colorado, you know, five acre parcel sell in December and January? It does, right? Will mm-hmm. it sell faster in summer? Probably. But yeah. this is the reason that we always say, look, you got 90 days. Go out there, look at the property, stop on the property. If you don't love it, we either refund your exchange of a property you do love. So do it now. 90 days is enough for the snow to melt or the 140 degree weather to go away, right? Yeah, and I have a 365 day exchange policy. So take your time, get out there, but lock down that parcel now before, you know, John Montero buys it and flips it, makes an $80,000 profit. (laughs) Absolutely. Uh, So, yeah, where were we on vacation, Mark? All right, so I went all over. I was in uh, Tucson with the family, then Newport Beach for Elite Weekend. Uh, my wife flew out, met me in Newport. Then we came back, uh, took the kids to San Francisco. Uh, and then after San Francisco came back, we had a couple days here, repacked, and we spent a week in Santa Monica on the beach. So yeah. August was great. I mean, just cool weather, family July. time. July, you know, everyone got their needs met. So as far as how much time I worked every day, um, I worked zero. Uh, I, I would say, you know, two minutes of checking email at night and doing stuff I had to do financially, you know, yeah. paying a bill really, which is the only thing I, I actually did. Um, and then maybe forwarding emails to people that, you know, emailed me directly and it had to go to the proper person. But other than yeah. that, um, I didn't spend any time in the systems of you know lg pass and looking at deals you know maybe i would approve a deal but other than that i mean i spent less than five minutes a day beautiful i mean there's no reason you would even have to change that coming back to work right no but i you know but client calls (laughs) are important to me you know coffee talks is important to me the podcast is important to me like i like this stuff so, you know, I've set it up where I'm, everything I'm doing, I love to do. And if it's something that I'm not loving, I just actually wrote a, an email about this uh, mm-hmm. with a Sunday, the Super Sunday Productivity Tip was, you know, every month, once a month, I'd have to download bank statements, right? So I figured oh. out how to, how to automate that. So I now love that that, that's off my plate. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. that that's a great tip. You gave me that tip uh, about a month ago. Sweet. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, you so, gotta you, you gotta open the Sunday email though if you want to know that tip. Open the Sunday email. Yeah, yeah. And if you're not a subscribing to his emails, go to the com and there's an opt in there. So just go ahead and put your email there, and now you'll get the super secret Sunday tip. Right. Yeah, there, you <laughs> there, you go. Go. there you go. There you go. Bribe him on. <laughs> yeah. Any, any other questions? Any other questions? Comments? What are you drinking, David? Oh, my coffee is right here. I've got uh, I got my Joshua Tree cup. Oh, nice! I gotta get you a Langy cup. I have a Langy cup. I just well, use I it uh, from it. I used it last night, so it's I haven't washed my dishes yet. <laughs> oh, okay. It's no all worries. good though. This is just, this is similar. I mean, this is land Joshua Tree. Alexander McGlynn, what are some good strategies to get buyers to get buyers on board with automatically charging them every month? I have some folks that didn't get an initial. Well, are uh, you using GeekPay, Alexander? Use GeekPay. Yeah. So I, I think uh, his question is, how do you convince them to get set up with GeekPay at that point? Um, so it's in their best interest. So they're more likely to default or miss a payment from, you know, just some kind of weird circumstance if they're not if they don't have automatic payments set up. Yeah. So we, what we say is, look, if you never want to get a late fee, do this. This is your set it and forget it system. It'll yeah. automatically bill you, right? And you know you can say, look, uh, if you you know set this up on ACH, you know the next two days, I'm going to lower your note fee from twelve dollars a month to nine dollars a month. Okay, that'll motivate you. But if you don't do it in the next two days, it's going to go to be twelve bucks a month. Give them, a, yeah. give them a deadline. Deadlines really work very well. Yeah, and everyone always waits for the very last minute possible. 
Yeah, so, yeah. The next flight school is August 22nd. Every month, I have an email that says, I'm really sorry, but we are full. Please don't make me send those emails anymore. Sign up early. <laughs> I really don't like sending those emails, Mark. <laughs> it just I breaks know. my heart. <laughs> I know. But, you know, we keep flight school at a maximum of a certain small people so that we can have an intimate group, yet you don't get lost in the... Uh, you know, among the questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we 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 figured out the ideal size, where yeah, it's absolutely. you know it's all you know it's perfect amount of engagement, yet it's uh, yeah, that's what it is. It's the perfect amount of engagement. If it's too big, you won't engage. If it's too small, it feels like you know you just you got like the the microscope on you. Yeah, Doug Volcano, Doug. Of my first boot camp, awesome. Mailing's going out. Want to learn to scale more effectively? That's what we're going to teach you step by step. Bootcamp, really, all the land investing clouds are going to dissipate, and everything's going to become very clear after bootcamp. I love bootcamps, and now, like, I know I'm going to be right there in the main room with you, learning from you. Like, I'm still going at this point. Like, right now, I know how to do this business, but I'm going to learn something from you this weekend that I've probably never heard before. So that's why you want to be going to these things. Uh, it's just, it's supplemental education that's just about necessary to really solidify success. Right. I think right. so. Yeah. Joe, Joe just had a great question. I, I love that question. Doesn't everyone mail the same people in the same counties? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we all get deals. So yeah. Joe, go to the mailbox, right? And tell me how many credit card offers did you get today, right? You'll keep getting them. Yet somehow they're all making money. So, you know, we're all working the same counties, but how many properties can you buy in a year, Joe? How many properties can I buy in a year? How many properties can they buy in a year? The reality is the market is massive and there's very few people doing it. So you, me, a million people in this niche, we'll all run out of money before we run out of deal flow. So, yeah, you know, it's... It comes down to time. It's not like it's not like housing where you know they'll get these guys are getting ten offers a day for their house, right? Yeah. Land is it's. I mean, there's one county with thirty thousand properties, tax delinquent, thirty thousand. Joe, how many can you buy? Can you buy one percent right. of those? Can I mean, you buy point one you know, percent? <laughs> not even that. That's one so county. Like, yeah, even in the most populated counties, by us. They're probably only getting four offers a year, right? Just because right. someone works at county doesn't mean they're actively mailing. Like, as much as we preach the twenty a day, I know a lot of people that are just not doing that. So it might have the appearance appearance of being very saturated, but it is not. It's not. It's, not at it's all. a massive market. You just got to show up. What is what is it that that quote? Eighty percent of life is showing up. Yeah, yeah. It, that's it. <laughs> You know, do your mailing, do your marketing. If Mike Zane was on, he'd have some kind of Zen uh, speech about breathing in the marketing or breathing in the mailing, breathing out the marketing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Joe, I've been doing this full time, full time since 2001. I've never had an issue with deal flow. If anything, I have more deals than I can handle. So why is that? Because I'm consistently mailing. I'm consistently mailing. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I think it's right about that time, Mark. All right. Um, well, thank you everyone for uh, for joining us again. We're glad to have Mark here. Uh, let's give him a big you know, virtual hug. Welcome back, Mark. Welcome back. We missed you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, go to thelandgeek.com. Learn more about us or more about the uh, you. So you know your future. Like we don't care about us. Like it's all about you. So I'm Ram. It's all about you. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, I mean, you know, that's that's what this is all about is, you know, how quickly can we move the needle in your life so that you can work when you want, where you want, with whom you want, and, you know, be totally free. Let freedom ring. Let freedom ring. That's you and Scott. So, I, I mean, we'll figure it, something else. <laughs> Coffee talk, baby. <laughs> all right. All right, we're in the broadcast, and it usually takes about four or five seconds to end. So here it goes. Good talking to everybody. See you all Thanks, next everybody. week. See you next week.